Stay safe, everyone. Hi, guys. It's a lovely, beautiful Sunday morning. And we're out for a walk along uh, Oaks Track and Telegraph Track, just by Oaks Park in Cushel. Wallington, gosh, old Wallington, a bit of both. I've said this before, I've walked here many, many times. I'll link my Sutton Countryside walk video below. Um, but we're literally on the border of Surrey and Greater London. Croydon's like four miles that way, Sutton's like two miles that way. But you come into this little pocket countryside. It's great. I mean, look at that. A runner just went past me, <laughs> shouted out, love the channel. <laughs> thank you very much. If you're watching this, thank you very much. That's really much appreciated. <laughs> the wind's pretty strong up here, so I've got a good wind muff on, so hopefully it sounds okay. Over there is London. If you can see it, you probably won't see it on the GoPro because it's a fixed lens, but... as everyone is, is self-isolating the weather's going to be glorious We've got blue skies it's getting warm um, but I think it's important still to get out for walks you're not gonna be no we've got vast countryside here guys you need to get the sun to give you the vitamin D which is a healthy thing to do Okay, we're at the crossroads. We've got Boundary Road down that way. This is Telegraph Track. I'm going to have a walk down Telegraph Track. I've never been down this way before. I only got a short distance down to Boundary Road, but let's um, go have a look. Surprisingly, there's actually a lot of people out doing their walks and that and walking dogs and riding their bikes. So. Croydon in the background. So I've never been down the track before, so interesting. God, it's very blowy. I hope you can hear this all right, even with the wind muff on. Okay, we're back at the crossroads. I'm gonna head down that way and see uh, what goes on. Oh. The filmmaker I hate more than rain is wind. Not only, yes, there is a little bit of a vain point of view here, your hair goes all over the place unless you're wearing a hat, and one is terribly vain. But yes, yeah, uh, it makes it an absolute mess. So, um, yeah, and if it's raining, you're using a GoPro, you just wipe the lens every so often. But, uh, This road should come out by Woodcote Lane, I think it is, uh, where Woodcote Nurseries are, yeah, it's over there. Oh, bright sun. Spring's on the way. Yeah, I don't think we need to go down there, actually it's only a short way. Also, here's a comment on the mass hysteria of uh, shopping in the last couple of days, which has been absolutely crazy and shameful as well. 
don't see us in any other countries. It seems to be just us in America. We've done this panic buying. Well, my friend Andrew, who um, used to live in Wallington, who grew up in Wallington, but now lives in Croatia, and he posted a video yesterday of him going down to his local convenience store. Amongst all these housing projects, little convenience store, every single shelf full to the brim of toilet rolls, necessities, all those kind of things. Nothing, nobody was wanting for anything. And I thought that speaks volumes, as opposed to all the selfish people over here stocking up on toilet rolls. <sighs> Crazy. Well, we'll see how this plays out. Very uh, uncertain time. I think unprecedented is a word that's been banded about quite a lot. But uh, yeah, stay safe everyone. There are people running away from me. <laughs> That's social distancing at work. Unless they're giving the dog just a, a workout. <laughs> so we're heading back down to that track. It's a little walk this morning. Get some fresh air. They couldn't be isolating and stuck at home, as I say earlier. Drive out to the countryside to get a walk in. You're likely unlikely to see anyone else. So that's it guys thanks for joining us if you like the video please like subscribe hit the bell notification please leave us a comment if you know any more about this area say so, you know if you live in the Wallington car short and Sutton area come up and have a walk up here it's really lovely and uh, from a very unprecedented UK I'll see you next time